Hi everyone, and welcome back to Think Science. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications of more Think Science content. Today, we're going to be talking about cell communication and signaling, more specifically, the secretory pathway. This pathway is crucial to understanding cell communication because it serves a very important function and is often at the basis of a lot of research in the biological field. Before you watch this video, make sure you've checked out our previous videos on proteins and the inside of the cell because we'll need those concepts here. So, let's get started. First, we have our question of the day. What is the difference between the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulums? Leave your answers in the comments below. So, inside of our bodies, our cells communicate with each other by sending signals to one another. These signals can be chemical or electrical, and there are multiple different ways to send them as well. These signals trigger cellular pathways to occur within the cell, where the signal will set off a chain reaction of events, causing proteins to move and perform their various functions. It is through these cellular pathways that our cells are able to carry out our biological processes and keep us alive. The signals that start these pathways are often proteins that come from other cells and bind to proteins called receptors on another cell's membrane. But how are these signaling proteins released from the first cell? For proteins that need to be embedded in a cell membrane or sent out of the cell, there is a certain pathway called the secretory pathway that allows for this to happen. This secretory pathway starts with a protein that is supposed to be sent out of the cell. As you might recall, proteins are made up of amino acids. For a protein that needs to be sent out of the cell, the amino acid sequence will start out with a signal sequence. So, the amino acid chain will at the end terminus start with methionine, which is the start amino acid on every protein, and then afterwards we'll have a specific signal sequence following it that is recognized by a SRP, a signal recognition protein. This way, when the amino acid reaches a ribosome so that protein folding can happen, the SRP will bind to the signal sequence on the synthesizing protein. Once the SRP has attached to the amino acid chain, it will drag it and the ribosome to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, where the protein will be synthesized and reach its tertiary structure. Remember, tertiary structure is the protein in its folded form. At this point, the protein that is on the surface of the rough ER will be pinched off in a vesicle. This vesicle travels all the way through the cell cytoplasm until it reaches the Golgi body. If you'll remember, the Golgi body packages proteins and sends them off to perform their various functions within the cell. So once the vesicle reaches the Golgi body, the Golgi body will package the protein into its final form and send off the entire vesicle with the protein still in it to the cell membrane. Here, the protein will either embed itself into the membrane layer, or it'll surpass the membrane to go into the extracellular environment, where it'll bind to the membrane surface of another cell. Pretty cool, right? So, the secretory pathway is the behind the scenes of what triggers cellular pathways. Once this protein that has been sent out of the cell reaches the surface of another cell and binds to its receptor, it'll start the sequence of events I talked about earlier. This sequence of events is called a cellular pathway, and a bunch of different proteins are involved in different pathways, which is why proteins are so varied. They do everything in the cell. To learn more biological concepts, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos on thermodynamics and enzymes. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks, science.